Star Station. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Professor Don Bush. I've been teaching accounting for about 30 years and been a CPA for about 30 years, and I've got great ways to explain accounting. So welcome aboard. Well, folks, here's a picture of some raspberries that are growing here on our property. Our family lives in Morrison, Colorado up in the mountains at about 8,500 feet. And every year we have wild raspberries that grow and they're terrific, very tasty. And here's a, a picture of this big giant wood pile I've been working on. We heat our house totally with firewood. And uh, so a lot of work, but anyways, a lot of fun here. Talk about fun, let's get to the cash flow statement. Well, this is the second example of our cash flow statement and rather than going through the cash flow statement and explaining every detail and dissecting it and kind of being a little boring about it, I thought I'd show you guys how easy it is to use this cash flow statement and how powerful it is. You can learn a lot about a company so quickly. So here we go. This is cash flow, four sources of cash. Example number two. So if you watched example number one, you know there are four ways to get money. That's right, there are four ways to get money. Uh, your textbook might list 20 or 25 different ways to get money, but they can all be, down, be boiled down to four ways to get money, that's it. So here we go. So here's a cash flow statement. It's different than the one uh, in example one. Can you spot the four ways to get money? A couple of them are, are illustrated here. Do you know what those four ways uh, to get money are? The four sources of money. So let's go down here and let's review them one more time. These are something good to just memorize. So the four sources of cash, here we go. Number one, cash generating operations. That is profitable operations. I listed that a little differently than I did in example number one. So cash generating operations. So uh, Fred's snowblower service, they uh, repair snowblowers, they sell snowblowers. So what this is, this is cash being generated by operating this snowblower shop successfully. If we're a sporting goods store, it'd be money coming in from selling sporting goods and, uh, and operating the sporting goods um, store real well. It's gotta be profitable. Coming down here to selling assets. These are selling big assets. No, we don't mean inventory at this point, but we mean uh, machinery, equipment, uh, buildings, land, large things. The only problem with selling assets is, what are you gonna do when you run out of assets? So when it comes to business, I like to see businesses buy assets rather than sell them off. So number three, borrowing, borrowing on your credit card, taking out a, another student loan, uh, borrowing from parents and roommates. The only problem is um, oftentimes people get tired of you borrowing money from them. And uh, in business, the same is true. Uh, you can only borrow so much before lenders start uh, to get worried and not lend you money anymore. Number four, owner investments in corporations. This would be selling stock. And it could also mean for sole proprietorships, the owner putting more money into the business. So folks, these are the four ways to get money. So three out of the four are very common and relate to our everyday lives. So like number one, cash generating operations, that'd be equivalent to you and me getting a job or starting a business. Number two, selling assets. We could have a big garage sale, sell off our, our stuff. We could sell our tennis racket and our bowling ball and our oh bicycle, whatever. And borrowing, that would be borrowing on credit cards, uh, asking a roommate for money. And owner investments, that is more business oriented. That's selling common stock, selling preferred stock. So let's come down to the same old cash flow statement. This is the exact same cash flow statement as up above. Different than example one, but same as up above here. And what I did is I drew arrows here on the left hand side and I listed um, the sources of cash. So here we go. Uh, the first one here is cash provided by operating activity, 64,000. And this is the most important source of cash right here. When I look at a cash flow statement, this is the first place I look. And if a business does not have a nice, positive number right here. If it's negative, I am not interested in this company as an investment. 
absolutely no interest. So cash provided by operating activities, this is the most important source of cash. It, it's the equivalent of, of uh, getting a job for you and me. So making money. And you might be a, might look to see here that net income is 68,000 and cash provided by operating activities is 64,000. And it's important to understand that net income and cash flow from operations are two totally separate things. They're, they're related, but they're very, very different. I personally, I like cash provided by operating activities. It's my probably my favorite metric when it comes to companies. And you want to see if the net income and the cash provided by operating activities makes sense when you're looking at companies to invest in. And look at this, uh, Fred Snowblower Service has another source of cash. They sold some equipment for $5,000. Perhaps it was some old machinery or perhaps it was some old tools or who, who knows what it was. But they sold equipment for $5,000 and, and money came in and you might say, oh, that's a good thing. Money's coming in. It's a positive number. And yeah, you're right. But I like to see businesses investing in themselves. And I like to see this number actually as a negative number. I like to see them buying equipment, not selling off equipment. And you know, there's a problem. If you sell off all your equipment, what kind of a business are you going to have left? And we call this right in here, cash provided by investing activities. So these investing activities, these are investing into the business, investing into yourself, you might say. So there you go. Um, there's no other major sources of cash here. Uh, rather than um, a positive $9,000, it's a negative 9,000. And it says decrease in long-term notes payable. What that means is they paid down uh, some debt. And that's a use of cash. That's not a source of cash. So they, they didn't borrow any money and that's probably a good thing. So there you go, folks. There are the two sources, two out of four sources of cash uh, for this cash flow statement. So when you get used to this and, and you get good at it, you, within seconds you can learn so much about a business, so many, so much of the important things. And lastly, just as a reminder, we've got four sources of cash, but they are not created equal. The most important one by far is number one, cash generated, cash generating operations, profitable operations, by far the most important. These others are much less important to me. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. And if you liked it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And